Okay, welcome back then to this second lesson on histograms. This lesson is on creating histograms. In a previous lesson, we were interpreting histograms. So make sure you've seen the video on that first of all before you look at this one. Quick starter here, pause the video, have a go, come back when you're ready. Okay, welcome back then. Um, so this rectangle's got area 20, 20 cm squares. I know a rectangle's area, remember, is length times width. So my thought process here is that five times x equals 20. And if you divide by five, basically the area divided by the width or length, x equals four centimeters, all right? And this one, same sort of thing, this time length times width equals 7.56. If you divide by 2.1, then I think you get y equals 3.6 centimeters. Easy, okay. So to find a rectangle's area, if you know one dimension, sorry, if you know a rectangle's area and one dimension, to find the other dimension, divide the area by the fifth dimension. Pretty basic, really, okay. Quick, re quick recap then what is a histogram? Remember, a histogram is a bar chart for continuous data, so there's no gaps between the bars. And by far the most important thing about a histogram is that the area of a bar gives you the frequency, okay? Not the height. That's what sets it apart from a bar chart and a frequency diagram. The area of a bar for a histogram, remember, and the bars are all rectangles, the area is the frequency. Okay, so example one then, if you just pause the video, write all this down, read the context, and then come back when you're ready, okay? Okay, welcome back. So I hope you've read this, this daft story I put in with this histogram and the data set, all right? Um, first thing I'm gonna do, it probably won't help us here, but it's always good practice, remember, to always work out the total frequency, first of all, okay? Call it sing ref, by adding up the frequencies. Okay, so 13 add 12, three add 12 add 13 add 12 add 18, I get 58 here, okay? Always good practice there. Now let's think now, okay? Right, remember this frequency here, really you could replace this, couldn't you? All right, this basically is the area of each bar, okay? So I'm looking at this first bar. The bars are rectangles. If I look at the first bar, all right, then see this bar, because it's gonna go from naught to five on the x-axis, see? From zero to five, okay? It's gonna be some height tall, isn't it? And the area's got to be three. So my thought process is it, process here is five times something equals three, see? Because the bar is five wide. So I basically just do three divided by, sorry, divided by five. Gives me a height of 0 0.6. And you can check five times 0 0.6 is three. Okay, so this bar was five wide, you see, all right? It went from naught to five. Remember the height's not called the height, it's called the frequency density. It's got a, uh, a special name, okay? It's called the frequency density. Okay, so this one was 0 0.6. And I did three divided by five. This second bar, okay? The second bar, this one goes from 5 to 20. See, can you see this, this bar then? It's 15 wide, the gap is 15, and the area is 12. So my thought process is now 15 times something, see I call the height question mark in the first one as well, equals 12. And if I do 12 over 15, you get 0 0.8 back, okay? You do. So here I've done 12 divided by 15. And I hope we're spotting the pattern here now, okay? All right, see this next bar is actually 10 wide, you see? And the area is 13, okay? So I know by now I would just do 13 divided by 10, you see? It'll give me 1.3, see? 1.3 high times 10 wide gives me my 13. I'm doing the frequency divided by the width of each group. Again, this group, you see this group is 10 wide again. So I'll just do 12 divided by 10, which is 1.2. And this last bar is a huge bar in it. I think it's actually 60 units wide. It is. So if I do 18 divided by 60, 
you get 0 0.3 back, okay? And you can check 60 times 0 0.3 does give me 18, okay? So for the frequency density, all right? Make a quick note here. We got a little shock at you, see, haven't we? The frequency density, basically all I'm doing is the frequency divided by the width, okay? See this one? I did three by five. This one I did twelve by fifteen. Nice little shortcut here, okay? See if you're drawing the bars out all the time. And obviously on the next slide then, okay, I've got the axes red and I've drawn the histogram. Okay, and I put a title on it and label my axes. See the first bar? This first bar here went from 0 to 5, as we can see. See, it went from 0 to 5 and it was 0 0.6 high. So that's what I've done. Okay. The second bar went from 15 to 20, so from 5 to 20, and it was 0 0.8 high. See? Sorry, from 15, it went from 5 to 20, it's 0 0.8 high than that one, etc. Okay, I've just drawn the bars. All right, the start point, end point, and the height is the frequency density. Okay, there they all are there. All right, that's my histogram. Very simple. Just remember to find the height or the frequency density first, and you can't really go wrong. Okay, so um, for the main task, there are 52 questions here. So pause the video, have a go, and then come back when you're ready for the answers. Okay, welcome back. The answers here, I've used F.D as uh, shorthand for frequency density, okay? And I, I haven't titles on the, on, the, on the histograms really because it can be inferred from the text directly above. Okay, so make sure you mark those. I've done the bars for you as well. And then once you've marked those, um, put the head and check in question and come back when you're ready for the check in question. Okay, welcome back then. Here's the check in question. Here's off an exam paper. And there's two slides here, all right, here and here. Okay, so um, at the supermarket, the time taken for customers to scan five items at the self checkout was recorded. No bobs. A histogram that shows the results is shown below. Yeah, I see that. Unfortunately, the scale is missing from this axis. Yeah, I see that as well. See, there's no scale at the moment here, but there soon will be, I hope. So it is. So I copied the chart across on the neck onto this slide. It is known that six people took between 15 and 20 seconds to scan their five items. Right. So between 15 and 20 is this bar here, okay? This bar here, okay, is 15 to 20, all the bar. Let me give it a bit of shade, is it? All this bar here. So all that bar there stands for, see, it stands for six people. Okay, so this whole bar here is worth six people. Okay, so my thought process now, if I think about this bar now, see this bar is from 15 to 20, so it's five wide and the area is six. So I'm thinking how high is the bar so I can complete this scale? Well, again, look, five times something is six. So if you use six divided by five, that tells you the height of this bar is 1.2. It's 1.2 high. That means I can put 1.2 here, look, because it is, that's how high the bar is, 1.2. And let's see now then about this scale, is it? It goes, I got one, two, three, four, five, six squares between naught and 1.2. So if I did 1.2 divided by six, every square stands for 0 0.2, I believe. Let's try though, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, yeah, it does, 0 0.8, one, yeah. So I've done my scale, okay? Just by working backwards, done it. And that's zero as well there. Finished. And how many people was timed scanning their five items? Well, that's going to be the total frequency in it, okay? So there's already six people here. In this bar here, remember the frequency is the area of the bar. All right, the area of the bar. So I think that this bar here looks like it goes from, I think that's 2.5 there up to 10. Okay, so it's 7.5 wide. 
and it's 0.4 high. So if I do 7.5 times 0.4 and see what I get, 7.5 times 0.4, 7.5 times 0.4, try again, sorry. This actually is three here, okay? The area of this bar is three. 7.5 times 0.4 is three people. This bar here is obviously just five wide. And last time I checked, five times one equals five. I've done this one already, it told me. And this last bar, okay, is definitely just 10 units wide, didn't it? And I think it's 0 0.1 high. It is, yeah, 10 times 0 0.1 is one. So my total frequency is going to be 3 add 5. So 3 add 5 add 6 add 1. See, there's only four bars, okay? And 3 add 5 add 6 add 1. Uh, I believe it's going to be, oh, this is 8, 40, 15, okay? 15 people all together. Just found the area of each bar and added them up for my total frequency, okay? So that's that one done now, okay? Um, I hope it went uh, well enough. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and we'll see you soon.